Tegan and I'm back in some more weird scenery. I'm at my parents' house in my sister's room um, and things are kind of crazy because we're getting ready for her graduation and family's coming so this is like the only time I had to film but I was really excited because I received my second Go Indie Now package in the mail from Ashley. I'm going to open this up and we'll see what's in this month's box. Before I open it up, um, the box has changed a little bit recently. So for this box, it's now a 4D mental vacation box. What she's trying to do is cater to each of our senses as we're reading. Each month, there's going to be an indie book with a bonus content packet from the author. There's going to be a scent packet to go along with the story like there was in last month's box, which was pretty cool. It's like one of my favorite things. Um, and then there's going to be a recipe to pair with the book and also a playlist. There will also be... Um, monthly art prints included in the boxes so that's really cool that's the base package so then there is an upgraded package that includes all of that plus some extra items based on the book for $30 plus shipping so let's open this up and see what's going on I'm gonna pull out my bonus content it says, for your mental vacation. I'm actually not going to read that yet because it tells you what's in here. So I, pull, I pulled it out of the bag. Sorry for the crackling. It's got the business card there. I guess I'm going to pull out the book first. I waited last for it last time, but I think this will help explain the rest of the items. So I've got my handwritten note. It says, Dear Tegan, this month I chose Davenport House to bring you a historically accurate mystery novel set in the Victorian era that celebrates all of the trials and glamour. Cool, so then there's a card in here um, with the information that I'm not gonna show you yet um, that's on here that on the back has a list of everything that's included in the box and I'm not gonna show you that because I don't wanna ruin it, but it says, when you buy a book from an author, you're buying more than a story. You're buying numerous hours of errors and rewrites. You're buying moments of frustration and moments of sheer joy. You're not buying just a book, you're buying something that they delight in sharing, a piece of their heart, piece of their soul, a small piece of someone's life. That's really nice. Okay. Oh, this is gorgeous. So this is Davenport House by Marie Silk. It says, emotions are running high in the midst of a family scandal at Davenport House, where social classes collide and discretion is the secret to survival. Mary Davenport is a 22-year-old idealist who worries that the world in the progressive era is leaving her behind. She lives isolated in the Pennsylvania countryside with her affluent and secretive family. When her father dies suddenly, Mary becomes pained with grief and increasingly suspicious of those around her. A humble servant girl has the chance of a lifetime to become a lady's companion. Costly dresses, exquisite rooms, and fine dinners are pleasant distractions from what is really happening in the house. The wealthy family upstairs and lowly servants downstairs have more in common than they ever imagined. Ooh, that was a good summary. I'm super excited about this. And it's like a really nice size. It's like a perfect size. And the cover art is stunning. Check that out gorgeous. It's sort of gothic and mysterious. I've got a little scroll here which is also super cute. So this is a list of the mental vacation that I'm not gonna look at because I don't wanna don't wanna spoil it. So I'm not gonna show you that either. There is an envelope in here that says to here. Playlist to set the scene. So there's instructions to go to the YouTube channel. Um and there are, for chapters 1 through 3, 4 through 11, and 12 through 14, there are different, um, like, playlists, I'm assuming, on the channel. So that is really cool. So when you get to those chapters, that's what music you should listen to. And I think that's such a super cool thing to include for this box because when I am writing, I have to have a playlist before I start writing or nothing really gets done. I can't really write to silence. And I also really like to read with music. It's like one of my favorite things. Another envelope that says to taste. So this is our recipe. It says molasses crinkles. This particular recipe is a certified recipe from Victorian times and is truly scrumptious. Cool. I'm not very good at cooking, but it's one of those things that I'm trying to um, become better at. <laughs> Earlier this year, I set the stovetop on fire while I was trying to boil water in the tea kettle. So it takes a special kind of person to have that ability to see. 
So this is the art print in here. Art by Ashley Nessler. She's the owner, the administrator of the company. So you are like me, Mary. We can read and understand people like reading pages in a book, but we only wish to focus on the good pages. Sometimes it is important to see the bad pages for what they are. Marie Silk in Davenport House. This is really pretty. You can see there's print from the cover art, and I'm not sure where the others came from, but it's very pretty and Victorian, and it sort of looks like a big bookmark. It's pretty cool. There's so much stuff in this box. Okay, and now I have the two smell. It's one of those scent packets that we got from before, but this one, yeah, to smell. This one smells like a tea party, so let's check it out. Can't get it open. Ooh. It smells really good. It smells sort of familiar, sort of nostalgic. So this is from Adventure Sense again, which um, it says sent special effects for games, books, movies, costumes, and more. Um, and if you go to www.adventuresense.com, you can find these. And I was actually looking through them, and they have quite a big selection. And the past two that we've gotten, I think the other one was like Scent of Battlefield or something. They're really awesome. Really, really cool. Um, and I think they have like, I could be wrong, but like classroom sets or something like that. Um, but so that you could sort of get your students involved in their books by helping them relate to a special smell. And the reason, I guess, I think this idea of having a mental vacation is so cool is because one of my favorite things to do, um, as I said before about music, is to, my sister has a, I don't know if you can see this actually, she's got a record player and one of my favorite things to do is to match a vinyl to a book. So, pretty cool. Okay. And then the last thing that comes in the basic box is something to touch. And so we've got this really pretty Victorian brooch. This is really pretty and it's gonna look really nice next to the book. When I'm taking pictures for this, it's really, really pretty. Gorgeous. This is such a unique idea. I love this. Okay. And then there are a few extra things in here, and I'm assuming that they are like, what would be bonus in the bone, like the box that contains the bonus content. So let's see. So the next thing in here is it says it's from Crocheted Candy, www.icraftsgifts.com/ashleynestler's crocheted candy, um, custom laundry costumes and accessories. So. We have this, and it is super pretty. I think the bookmark, but I could be wrong. But it's really pretty, and I'm kind of looks like a quill almost. Um, I'm really impressed with people who can crochet because I can't do it for the life of me, and this is really complicated looking. This is gorgeous, and it's got a really pretty end piece. This is what, I, what makes me think that it's bookmark. It's really pretty. I like it a lot. There is ooh, a really pretty fan, which is also going to look gorgeous when I'm taking pictures for this. It's a really pretty color. The purple's gorgeous and the sequins are really pretty and the detail is just stunning. This is really pretty. And it all, everything just looks so good together. It's like so nicely put together. Very good job. And then finally there's something in this little box. Oh. So I got a bonus gift for being a rep. It says, hi Tegan, here's a bonus gift for being a rep. Thank you so much. Much love, Ashley. P.S. It glows in the dark. So I think this is a choker. But here we go. There is a moon and I think it's a heart. Yeah, with this what must be like a glow in the dark bead. It's really, really pretty. I love anything that's like to do with the moon or the stars or anything like that. And it's cool that it glows in the dark. And it's a moon. This is really, really pretty. Thank you. Okay, you guys, that was a whole lot of stuff and I'm like trying to be quiet because it's super awkward to be filming in a house full of people. But 
this box was really awesome um i think i like it even more than i liked the first one and i really liked the first one as i said before there's a basic box and then you can upgrade um to a box that has more bonus content and i would definitely check it out ashley the owner of the company is really really excited about um i mean sharing her love for indie authors and their work and trying to help people out by um giving them a wider audience and make um indie novels more accessible you can't get much more accessible than by having them sent to your door every month so pretty awesome 20 dollars for the basic box 30 for the more advanced and then i think she's coming out with a poetry box and then i think there was even an announcement that there's going to be like a romance erotic box so all indie so that's really cool and you should check those out i'll have all the links for facebook for the create Joy site for instagram down below um check them out because it's really great and ashley is really awesome so thanks for watching and i'll be back as soon as i can thanks